everybody so I wanted to touch on something that I realized I didn't touch on at all and for people who are just starting out in the game this is probably more important than explaining what certain photon, art, photon arts do what is a photon art so if you're someone who plays other MMOs and you're just coming across this because of the trailer that happened or you saw a friend playing it or you saw something involving the game entirely or you came across some of my videos don't know you're probably thinking that it's set up the same way that skill trees in most MMOs are, and that's not exactly the case. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to switch to a weapon and take off every single thing on it. And show you guys exactly what, well I'm not going to take that off, what Photon Arts are and what they do. Because this game does not work in the sense that it is set up where you level up and you learn skills as you level up even your skills don't level up as you level up it's a very unique way to do things and without it being explained it can be it can leave a lot of people in the dust now the game does go over it quickly when you play if you go through the tutorial however i know like you know a lot of people myself included we skip tutorials right we do it's just a thing you shouldn't do but it's the thing that a lot of gamers in fact do so let's get right into it what is a photon art exactly a photon art is your skill. It's a skill that you learn, but how do you learn it? I just explained you don't learn them by leveling it up. What you do is you pick them up in game. There are some skills that you can learn by picking them up and finding them in the game. There are some skills that you can learn by going and purchasing them. You can even purchase them from people in their own personal shop. And there are some skills that you can learn through getting a quest. And there are also some skills that you can learn through items. Now, what I'm going to show you here is how this works. So you see this photon art called Rage Dance, right? A gunblade photon art launch a series of repeated thrusts, then fire a follow-up shot, inflicts major damage on a single target. So I'm not gonna show you what that does, but you see how it's grayed out? An infinite storm is, is open, it's lit up, it's something that I can clearly use. This is how that works and this is why. So Rage Dance is level six. I believe in this case, I already have Rage Dance. So how do I check that? I will show you. So we go to equip weapons. Rage Dance was a gunblade photon art, remember that. So I have one set up right here. This is my, my palette for this particular weapon and its photon arts. I will, I'm gonna hit try impact level five and this shows me all of the photon arts that I have already learned and their levels, their corresponding levels on the gunblade. So Rage Dance is right here at level nine. So if I have it at level nine, why wasn't I able to learn the other one? Well, it's simple. It's part of how the photon arts level up. That Rage Dance is level 6. I cannot stack a lower level photon art on another photon art. So if I have my photon art Rage Dance at level 9, I can't put Rage Dance level 6 into 9 to increase its power. That's not how it works. You can't stack them like that. What you do in order to increase the power of your photon arts, because remember again earlier, I stated that you cannot or they do not level up as you do in just playing with them there are some games that are like that this is not one of them so what you would need to do in this case is look for a rage dance at a higher level so we'll take infinity storm or infinite storm oh i'm tripping Inf actually no we're gonna go with satellite aim the reason why i'm using satellite aim and you all you do in order to learn it is use it you highlight it you select it and then you hit use the reason why i'm learning satellite aim is because i'm going to show you the level up system with this so you see right here on the left hand side, this is the item, the level, the potency, and the cost to use it, the energy. So it shows previous right here. This right here means I have it already learned at level 6. By using this one, I'm, I'm pushing it up to level 9. So the potency was 844%, now it's going to jump up to 870%. The cost stays, stays the same, so that's actually a pretty good jump. I'll learn it, and now automatically my satellite aim is level 9. Now you see here, I have another satellite aim at level 10. I use it again, and also it's important to note that these, these photon arts do have stars set up as well, like you can see how, how strong they are themselves, their rarity, so on and so forth. So I use this again, level it up, it shows the potency of 870% now up to 879. Remember, I'm only jumping one level, so it's not gonna be too high. Now there's also something else to note. You can learn photon arts for different classes as long as you meet that photon arts requirement. So we'll see here. <clears throat> we already expressed Rage Dance, True Equilibrium. I've already learned that level, so I can't learn it any lower than that. I have to go up higher than that. 
But what I mean by that is I will show you my character's photon art list and explain it that way because that's the easiest and I do mean easiest way to explain it as far as um, what photon arts you can learn. So these are all the ones that I have. Learned. Now I am I am a gunner right so I don't have a wired lens but I can learn this photon art because there are requirements on each photon art to learn them. you can't just pick it up it's level one and be like okay I can learn this just because it's level one it's not how it works so let's go back to our our actual photon arts that we're gonna learn here what am I saying so look at this one, rage dance we already know I can't learn it because it's a lower level than what I already know I can't go backwards and I can't step so what is the requirement if you Go back up there. If you look here, it says required male power, which is melee power. It's 288. My current value is 420. Huh, 420. Anyway, so with that being said, if my current value was not 288, I would not be able to learn this. Just period the end. Period the end. So that's how that works as far as what the restrictions are. You have to meet the minimum restriction, which is always going to be said right here underneath the rarity right there it's always going to be said no matter what the photon art is no matter what class it's for it is always going to be said and you will actually see your current level beneath that so if you're curious and you're like well why is this grayed out and you don't you don't fully understand just by looking at it because you don't remember what what level your personal photon art is you'll see it right there and it'll also tell you why you know you can't learn it if it is the minimum requirement that's a fact as well now this this particular thing also works with items as well as far as like your your weapons things of that nature I'll do that on another video I think that's just too much to kind of compress into one but this is essentially how that works now I did say that you can pick them up so let's look at that I actually came to an area where I dropped something and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like so you're not confused when you see it on the ground also if you highlight something it will tell you in the, in the corner what it actually is so there is that as well but sometimes we get on a spree of just picking up things I know I do this all the time I just pick up pick up pick up and I'll sort through it after I get out of the mission this is just a quick way to to get get by all that so what does it look like this little icon right here is actually exactly what it looks like exactly what it looks like it's not a a um, shoot anything else it, sh it just looks straight up like that but it looks like that on the ground and is glowing so I'm gonna exit out of this and turn around this is a photon art that's all it is so it's that right there so I'm gonna pick it up and now I have stealth shot level 4 in my items can I use stealth shot let's see no because my current stealth shot level is level 9 now I am gonna learn infinite storm the next bit of information I want to go over with you is going to be how to equip your photon arts because there's not exactly something that you, you just you just go here and they're they're there for you that's after you equip them so what you do is you go to equip weapons you select the weapon that you want to equip out of your weapons inventory at that point you move over to these slots these slots right here are where all of your photon arts are going to be right here now me personally I reserve this slot depends on how you want to have your keyboard set up or your controller depends on how you play I reserve this slot for whatever my class unique technique is okay that's that's my slot for that um, some classes like this, this freaking assault rifle I don't really have that reserved so you would select that and it's gonna list all your photon arts that you can actually equip now if you see up there it has the sword and it has the, um, the staff I can equip Ma magic attacks well you you're welcome for the support anyway I can't equip magic attacks but the thing is it's not proficient on me okay so I'm not using a class that's supposed to be like super magically enforced and that's just purely by based on how my stats are um, so again we're gonna equip a, we're gonna equip a photon art so we'll equip chrono laps here then we'll go to the next one and we'll go down to Desperado dance because we like to dance and then we'll select let's see now we'll select infinite storm and we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that now I'm gonna go to my weapon however you choose to actually get to that weapon you can either use the mouse wheel if you're using keyboard and mouse or you can use the up and down arrow keys if you're using a controller that's just how that works so now that I have those equipped my photon art is right there now I can use it actively 
and I can switch. And then here we go. So that is the basic rundown of Photon Arts. The most basic that I can get. Now, I did say that you can actually go purchase them inside of the game as well. I don't mean that you purchase them with, like, real cash monies. What I'm saying is you go to the shopping center and you can purchase it there. That is, that's how that works as well. Alright, so once inside the shopping center, what I like to do is I just like to run up here and jump straight down to the center. You're going to take a right here, and you can see them stacked right there. This gentleman will give you the most basic photon arts you can get to start off with. It's actually not a bad idea to come here when you get your first class and just get a few photon arts just so you can have them. And you can actually go through your first mission easily instead of being stuck. You know, like, oh man, I just have my basic attack and like one, one skill. You might only get like one or two, and it may even just be one additional skill on top of the one that you have already for that particular weapon besides switching between weapons. And that's something else I'll cover when we go over the items and how to set that up as far as the restrictions, so on and so forth. Well, anyway, guys, I hope that this was helpful, and I will keep putting these out as, as much as possible. It'll probably be every Sunday. If you do like these, you can also catch me streaming on twitch.tv forward slash monolith underscore brookshadow. And I'll be learning with you guys, and everything that I learn, I will be redistributing to you. So I hope to see you guys there.